Hi, it's Peggy Lee, and I'm coming to you today to share my art journal booklet that um, I talked about in my previous video. I am doing the 100 day project um, that's going on in the world today, Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube as well. And I came to you to share um, days 1 through 10 with you, and if you notice, my um, book is no longer in the book. I had this beautiful green book, old book from 1929 that um, I had my journal in. Well, let's just say this morning it kind of, this whole section, this whole beautiful section popped out of my journal. So, and, but actually, you know what? I'm in love with it. I am in love with the rawness of it and I'm in love with the beautiful, um, 1920 um, old the way they sewed the books in and I'm in love with this I am so in love with uh, this rawness of the book so I'm gonna leave it like this for now I'll probably tie it with a seam binding or something and figure out what I can do to keep going on with my journal because the book is basically just falling apart but that's okay I'm gonna try to hold it together so let's share, um, I want to share with you the first 10 days today. Um, so on day one, which I started this on April 7th, 2020 is when I started. This is, um, I am creating right onto the old book pages of the book. I tear the book pages out and like this book page back here, I tear it out and I do my art piece on this page. Then I glue it back into the book on another page and it creates stability. Um, it makes the pages a little thicker and um, sturdy. So this first page I did and I hope you can see okay. I'm filming in a new location and I'm hoping it will be okay. Um, this first page is a yellow rose, and this is actually a um, napkin, uh, a paper napkin that I took the three layers apart and was just left with this beautiful yellow rose. So what I did is I used multi-medium and I layered um, some multi-medium down on my gessoed page. And then I did a thin, laid the um, napkin down, and then I did a nice layer over the napkin and let it dry. And the book page actually ripped when I was trying to wipe off some uh, some of the gesso, and I loved it. Um, you can't see it now, but it is ripped. It is ripped. Um, but I love that look. And so... I let that dry and then I did some background stamping on it on the page and then I added some just some tattered pieces I had this little piece of tattered lace and I had this vintage mother of pearl button and some more um, cheesecloth and lace and I sewed the button onto the page so it's not coming off and I left this so that it could be flipped up I like texture and I love vintage trims so this was day one and so before I go on you notice that I have lace on the bottom so well I had done lace on this page way back here and it just looked awkward so I went ahead and I just glued a piece of trim piece of lace on the back of this page so it's just hanging on to the back of this page and Eventually, I'll probably talk about the 100 day project on this page. Um, this page is being held together with um, Tim Holtz washi tape. I don't know if you can see that. Tim Holtz washi tape. Not. It's been a while since I videoed, so please bear with me. Um, and then this one I did, this is day two and it's on April 8th. I made sure to date every art journal page that I created. Um, just for myself, uh, uh, acknowledgement, just for me to know. Um, so on this page, I um, gessoed the background and I did um, uh, uh, random stamping all over the page. And then I added a bunch of coffee stained cheesecloth, which I love. I did, this winter, I was doing so many projects that I took 
I don't know, two or three big bundles of cheesecloth and just soaked them in coffee and let them be and then um, for about two hours. And then I went over and I drained them and I just let them dry. I hung them um, over stuff and let them dry. And they're, it's awesome. I have pre-dyed cheesecloth all the time. So I took another piece of paper, as you can tell, it is paper, the book paper, and I did a watercoloring um, page. I, I drew the church on with pencil, and then I uh, right onto a white gessoed page, and then I just did watercoloring here and there, and it was a lot of process. You know, you put watercolor down, you pull it off, you look at it, you add more shadows, you pull it off. Um, so then I did some stitching on my sewing machine, just some random stitching, and then I added this beautiful vintage trim and some mother pearl buttons. And I, this is one of my favorite pages in the book. So that was day two. And I don't have a page on here. See, when I first started, I was doing every other page. Um, whoop, see, because it's just so fragile. But then I, then I got going and I'm like, you know, I'm going to need to do back to back or this book is going to be humongous. So some of the pages don't have back to back, but it's fine for right now. So my next page, this is day three and it's on um, April 9th. And I just did a simple, um, just a simple background. I did gesso. I did random stamping. Um, this right here is actually... Um, it is a Prima stamp. I don't know if you can see and see how the it's embossed. I did um, took Ranger Tim Holtz Rangers um, embossing powder in Princess Gold and stamped the image in Versamark. Did the heat setting and I just love the effect. And then these little butterflies actually pop up. They pop up. They flat down when they're in the book, but I wanted the dimension. Um, to be fun so I don't know if you can see um, the butterflies they are they pop up so all right some vintage sheet music another mother of pearl button and some more vintage trims um, and all these vintage trims came from my good friend Michelle Hill um, I'm in a group with her on Facebook and she sent me a um, little bit uh, happy mail and I've been using her vintage trims throughout this book so that's it's a fun thing to have to do so this is day four which is April 10th and I dug out some of my beautiful vintage um, pieces that I have copied and printed and cut out fussy cut it out and I have washi tape here with gold um, I have this little girl I have some uh, curtain um, an old curtain I got at a thrift store. Um, I got a little metal piece. I got a two by two, which means four, which is my, um, where there's four of us in my family, so four is my favorite number. And then I found this little Prima, this little Prima tile. I forgot I even had that. It's just a Prima tile. It's, it's, um, so I want to say plastic ceramic or something. Um, so I tucked that up here. It was just so cute. So I tucked that up there. So that was day four, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So day five, I did an Easter theme, uh, Easter bunny theme. I did the Peter Rabbit. Um, I found this beautiful image off of Pinterest, and um, I created a tag with old sheet music, um, piano paper, and um, I did paints, and I did um, stenciling with modeling paste. I have um, some cheesecloth that has like kind of like just disintegrated into the background, which I love. Some vintage um, trims, and washi tape, and I also did liquid pearls. I found my liquid pearl stash, and I also adorned it with some vintage trim with some mother of pearl buttons and I love this and this is glitter this glitter is like old glitter and I was just trying to save it and it needed a punch of green and this is just a really cute 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 page cute cute page so um, it's really fun and if you want the Easter Bunny I will try to link it down below to Pinterest and you can find it and print it yourself and it prints pretty big 
So you can change the printing size. So this is when I decided, oh my gosh, I gotta start doing back to back. So let's see, I've already lost count. One, two, three, four, day four. So day, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So this is day six, which day six actually happened to be Easter. So I did a mixed media um, layout um, and I basically just took my paintbrush on, I just sewed the background, I took my paintbrush, I actually collaged on the background. You can't see it now because of all the paint and the water, um, but the under layer was, um, decoupaged. I just did a bunch of random vintage papers and um, old book paper, sewing paper, um, a, a piece of paper that I stamped on. And I took my paintbrush, a real thick paintbrush about this big, and I just, I did the simple cross, a simple T. And then I went back into that and I laid down um, drywall. Is it drywall tape or, or is it, is it drywall tape? I think it's drywall tape. Um, it's sticky and I use it all the time in my mixed media. You can buy it at Walmart, um, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, and then I also, I um, glued down some vintage laces and trims in the cross. And then when I went back over with paints and sprays, all those picked up all the texture and all the little divots in the cross and it just is a really beautiful page i love it i stand I, this is a vintage sheet music this says victory in jesus and i did he is risen and i put amen down here did a little stamping and my date stamps way down here this is just a really fun mixed media page um i really at first i wasn't thrilled but it really came out really beautifully and it was on Easter. So this is day seven, and day seven I did um, a paper napkin again, a tissue napkin, um, 